welcome back welcome back and hello this is the tech biz Shay show this would be a short but informative video about our now ancestor earl simmons better known as d m x if you have not been following the news i am you know kind of sad to you know even report something like this but there is a battle over who will oversee his estate dms did not have a will so it does make it harder to maneuver um who is supposed to get what without that important document so right out the gate dms's fiance the beautiful desiree filed in court to declare her as his official spouse under the common law wife statute if desiree was granted the title as spouse then under the new york law allows her to file for administration we will explain what that is later in the video and be designated his sole distribute over his estate let's repeat <laughs> the beautiful desiree DMS's fiance at the time of his passing filed a petition for the court to grant her the status of wife under the common law statute. Okay, now that the judge ruled that Desiree has zero standing to file as common law wife per New York law, she is not allowed to file for administration over DMS's estate. However, his children over the age of 18 can file. I am stressing <laughs> the state of New York due to the fact every state is different on how they proceed in cases of people dying without a will. Oh, okay. Okay. Stay with me. I know this is, you know, another court situation but it's so important because this is what a lot of people deal with every day when they have a family member that dies without a will okay new york law states that if a person died without a will then the proceeding is called an administration administration is a process where the surrogates court issues letters of administration to a qualified distributee of the descendant dms will be would be the descendant letters of administration appoints a descendants distributee and gives them the authority to collect and distribute the descendants property according to the law as i am recording this video a valid will has not been produced Therefore, his estate must abide by the New York State laws. And part of that law is as follows, because you know we're going to bring receipts. That's what we do here. We have to bring receipts. This is what the New York law has on the books regarding how they take care of their business there. All right. I'm hoping that you can see what I am seeing. I have um highlight it for you <laughs> the information so at least you can follow along with me because as i said this is important information especially the people who are watching and from new york so you can understand what could happen if you pass away without a will as you can see they have what people can get and what their role is when the person does not have a will and this is why it was important for Desiree, DMS's wife, to try to be court appointed the spouse, even though, you know, there was no official marriage license. Already, if the descendant, and I'm reading from the document on your screen, if the descendant has children but no spouse, children inherit everything equally doesn't matter if the child is five years old all the way up to you know 28 or whatever all the children get equal access to 
whatever monies is left from the estate. However, as you can see in green, let me see if I can do this right here for you. Okay, as you can see in green, if the court said, all right, Desiree, you know, under, you know, you qualified under the New York common law statue of being a wife, we're gonna say you're the spouse. Right off the cuff, the spouse inherits the off the top, the first 50 grand plus half of the balance. So right off the top, the spouse gets, you know, money. And then the children, you know, inherit every everything else after the wife um, you know, gets what they get by court law right off the top. Okay. I for one, <laughs> um, as I said, this is the, this the, this is difficult. <laughs> it's really difficult, um, if you can imagine, for the families to go to. Okay. Now, now this is when it really gets sticky. If you know about DMS, he has a lot of children. All right, he has about what fourteen, I think. I know it's over over twelve or whatever. He has fourteen children, as far at least that's what's being reported. I do I do believe. Okay, now since the court said Desiree, you cannot do this. Everything now turns to the children. The adult children are filing petitions in court to be appointed head in charge. Okay, I think I read there's about three or four of them. Who've, who've, who've already petitioned the court. And how New York does this is the children filing is required to list all the heirs in their petition because everyone must be served with a notice, AKA citation. This citation automatically does two things right off the top. One, gives the courts the authority to determine the rights of everyone involved. And two, tells all the heirs, this person is asking the court to put them in charge of the estate. Okay, you following me? Okay. Bear with me. And if you are cool, they're talking about the heirs as the hey, you know, you know, John John wants to, you know, be over the estate. If you are cool with this, with John John being in charge, then sign this waiver, giving your blessings. However, if you are not happy with the court making this move, you need to take yourself down to the courthouse saying, no, no, you need to pit someone else. Okay. And that whole situation that I just explained to you, July 15th is the reported next court date where the judge could, could announce which of the children will be over the estate. Okay. I'm putting the resources that I use to break this down to you in the description box so you can look for yourself just in case you know you or your family are affected by the same situation so you can understand what your rights are and what the other family member rights are so with that said please along with the tet biche show keep dms's family in your thoughts and prayers that is my statement and we are out Thank you.